Hi, I'm Greg Dell, and I'm joined today by attorney Stephen Jessup. And today's disability benefit tip is do not use social media. And Stephen, some people, they're on YouTube, which could be considered a form of social media. They're obviously on the internet watching our videos that we put out on a weekly basis. But why do you feel that a claimant who's on disability insurance or considering disability insurance benefits should not use social media? The insurance companies are monitoring it. You know, uh, we, if they want to, they have to it's set your privacy settings, but there's always ways around that. You know, and your insurance company is monitoring it, and it's not even them. They will hire outside companies to do that who do have really good ways of being able to gather a lot of information, even with secure privacy settings. So it's another way for an insurance company to put you under virtual video surveillance at any point. And as we know, most people on social media post the good things happening in their lives. And that can send an improper picture of what's really happening. So it's a, it's a very slippery slope where you're sharing information that can really be used against you in a very negative way. Right, and, and a lot of people watching these videos don't necessarily assume that this company even has access to it. Now look, we've talked about privacy filters mm -hmm. and things of that nature, but yeah, you may be able to block them out if they go search your name, but you can rest assured as a claimant, they're gonna Google your name mm -hmm. or any of the search engines. They're gonna look up every and anything. They run background checks, they run credit report checks if you allow them to. Um, and then they're looking to see what you're doing. And like you just said, which was a great point, you post the good things in your life. Um, some people do obviously post some bad things, but you're usually posting happy, looking active. And you could be a disabled person who's in pain, you know, 20 out of 40 hours a week, but you went to your aunt or your son's or your grandchild's um, birthday party and you're there smiling. Well, how does that turn out? The disability company just looks at that one picture of you smiling and says, well, you don't look uncomfortable. And then there's another post the next day, we went to dinner with our neighbors and they go, oh, you went to a birthday party on Sunday and you went to dinner on Tuesday. And okay, big deal. That's not working eight hours a day for five days a week, but the disability insurance companies manipulate that. And along the lines of don't use the social media, even if you have privacy settings, what can happen with social media in litigation? Uh, it can be discoverable where you have to give access to it for you know defense attorneys to be able to review everything on it. So, you know, if you find yourself in litigation where discovery is allowed, that's not something you can prevent from happening. So you just really need to be cognizant of the footprint you have when you're on disability. And one other thing with that is your friends. There's things in Facebook of tagging, Instagram tagging, and then you go out and they put a picture and then here's Steven at dinner, uh, here's Steven going on a water slide. Um, you know, so be aware of that and tell your friends, please don't tag me in these particular things. Again, look, one event doesn't mean you can go back to work, but one little thing the disability company can jump on to deny the claim, they're gonna use it. It's, an, it's enough to get their foot in the door. So thank you for these uh, tips about why you should not use social media. No matter where you live in the country, or whether it's myself, Stephen, or any of our attorneys, we're available to provide you with a free initial consultation. We'll ask you to send us a copy of your disability policy or send us the most recent letter you have from the carrier. Or if you just have a simple question, feel free to use the free consultation form on our website or give us a call. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking subscribe below. We're always putting out these disability benefit videos on a weekly basis. Our website has lots of information that we know you'll find helpful at diattorney.com. The reason we put out all this information is for you to be in the best position possible to protect your disability benefits and get your benefits paid. And the more information that you know, the more you can think like a disability company. And I can assure you that that will put you in the best spot to keep your benefits paid for as long as you want. So should you need us in the future, we look forward to the opportunity to speak with you.